Hey, welcome to the tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hayoko Wise Clown. I'm an empath. I'm an empath extra. Yeah, there's empaths. I hear the yammering. I'm an empath. I'm an empath. Hashtag empath. But guess what? There's a big difference between being empathic and being an empath. There's a big difference. I don't know. I guess it's what's true to you, but I found it's true to me that there is a difference there. And I cry wolf. I cry wolf. I cry wolf to a lot of freaking spiritual nonsense that I see in the climate, you know. We always don't, I mean, we, we, we get a, we get to set our course in our path, but we don't always get to freaking pick what dives and, and, and jumps in front of us. You know what? That's what I talk about on my tube here. Watch, you know, watch the dip, mind the dip. Just getting over the holiday, the, the, there's one more holiday of this in the New Year's, and I don't freaking care about man-made games, man. Freaking sports, pro sports, freaking politics, all that stuff is so stupid to me. I think it's hilarious that they've designated a whole science to politics when politics isn't a science. It's freaking... All politics are, there is no green and red. There is no donkey and elephant. There is no... Republican, there is no, none of that. None of that. None of that is, they're just words. All there are, from where I can tell, sit, where I'm standing, is a bunch of really greedy motherfucking people that are controlling things for other people because they are, feel really tiny inside for the government shutdown. Ah, now you know what it likes for the rest of us unemployed to fucking feel like only still one day you're gonna get your paycheck. Yeah, it's just all a club. Organizations, freaking groups, nonprofits, they're all just clubs of formed of ideas and you want people in your club they're gonna work with that are for you. So they're just little pockets of clubs. That's all that they are. Government's a club. Freaking military's a club. <laughs> You know, if you suit your needs, you'll there will be a grand member of their club. But if you don't, you know, play in line with and do have better ideas about different things about the club, get the fuck out and then tell other clubs that they can't play either, because they don't conform. People like it when you conform. <coughs> people hate it when you don't. That's why people hate me. So I don't freaking conform. I don't play along. I don't go with along with stupid little reindeer games, college football coaches making millions of dollars a year. You don't even fucking win. Parents have babies now. Oh, college tuition. Why don't you teach your kids how to freaking make water in the desert and grow food and stuff like that? Like my ancestors did because that was a lot better than, I don't know. It's a lot of freaking... People, just so much greed, so much greed, so much greed, and all I hear about is just astrology and astronomy and just the, the energy, and it's all changing, and you know what? It constantly changes. That's what energy does, and my nerves are freaking shot, y'all. My nerves are shot. People have gotten to freaking, for a long, they, 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 they spend a lot of time and effort and energy buffering themselves from their feelings and their emotions, and I never had the fortune of doing that. I've had to deal with mine. There was a 13-year hiatus I took with not dealing with my emotions and my demons. That was when my drinking days. And I fell off that horse after 12, 13 years. Dusted myself off. There's no shame of mine to be had. The only sh Get back up and realize it's not for me and on with the show. I can help more people without poisoning myself with alcohol. Some people have a obsession of craving. Some people, I think, like doing it just because they know what happens to them and they can do act how they really want to act and then just say, I was drunk, please forgive me. Anyway, storylines. We all just have different storylines. There's all different storylines. You know, there was one storyline that just played out for a long time, and that is you're born, you go to school, and you're told what, how to think and taught how to think and what to look at and how to process for... 12 years, then you get to decide if you want to pay for more of somebody else's frame of reference. And then when you do that, maybe you'll meet somebody, get married, have kids. And that storyline is changing. For 
fucking people don't want that. So I freaking numbers. People aren't having as many babies. I don't know babies are being born, but I mean, freaking shoot, dude. Kids don't want to have kids. Kids don't even want to drive and have driver's license. What do you think that's going to do? Fast forward about 30, 30 years. Yeah. It's funny. My storyline? Freaking it was opposed upon me, man. I'm different about sexuality and stuff like that. All I know is that I'm a female, and I freaking have suffered female stuff for since I was the week after my ninth birthday. Eighth? Eighth birthday? Ninth birthday. Week after my ninth, eighth birthday. Ninth birthday. Still young. I didn't want it. I never wanted to have kids, but every month I get to freaking power through it. Just power through it. Yep. Push on through, soldier up. Blah, 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 blah. Why these guys are like, I'm not gonna cry. Whatever. So stupid. <coughs> Another storyline I'm part of. Yeah, I got a same flame. We all do. But I'm here to tell you that it can change. And if somebody's really your same flame, they're not gonna freaking think ill of you. Yeah, I get they're your opposite, but one that I that was mine for a minute until we became unenergetically matched the way that she saw me was rude i just wanted her to apologize for that i made my amends and i apologized for my part anyway you can't control how people see you all you can do is be yourself how they see you has nothing to do with you it has all to do with what they have going on in here them not you people don't want to be around you it frees you up gives you more time to find maybe spend time finding people that want to, you know, be around you and hang out with you and collaborate and have fun. I just want to have freaking fun, dude. I know how to have fun. I know how to have a good time. <laughs> I can have a good time freaking standing in line in a grocery store. I freaking have a good time everywhere I go. Sometimes I just want to do it with other people. So my same flame thing, you know, they don't, you know, same flames don't get, <laughs> acknowledge your, 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 what you are to them and and then dash out. They don't do that. Not mine. I mean, you can make your same flame do whatever you want. You're an energetic match, but would you do that? Then why would you think your energetic match would? That doesn't make sense. Love is not hateful. Love is not unkind. Love does not fall in love with other love, find other love. Love does not, you know, it wants what's, what's best interest for you. And, and I have let more people go in my life because I love them then they've stayed. Yeah. It's true. We don't... Energetic matches change is the reality of it. You can have the same flame, but it doesn't mean you just have got to have just one, dude. You don't have to have just one. And energy changes. Why wouldn't you think, you know... I mean, that's why people freaking... Who was that Fishburne guy? Is Was it him? 22 years of marriage? You know, I mean, this is... The, the constellations in the skies are, are having people pour out the stuff that doesn't longer soar them. People living in marriages, loveless marriages, isn't going to fly anymore. And people living their lives that they don't, this is not the best, makes them the best version of themselves, isn't going to happen anymore. You can't, people are m miserable. They freaking would rather kill themselves than to continue living these lives that they're living. It ain't worth it. Life's too short, dude. There's supposed to be... Life is supposed to be enjoyable, pleasant, happy. You know, we're supposed to be free. We're not supposed to have these shackles of freaking governments. Freaking just... <coughs> Uncle Sam, let go! That's why, I, you know... I know I've said this before. Donald's a Hayoka. Donald's a ducky clown. Yeah, he's a freaking... He's, like, he's the bumbling... Look, people, he's the bumbling idiot that freaking stumbles into room all clumsy, runs into the, the, the white elephant, and says, Hey, look at this guy. How come nobody's talking about him? What's he doing? Hey, white elephant, my name is Donald, and I'm here to show you. Let's look at our... He's doing it in a very asinine way. Like, it's so obvious to me, and yet people the whole... Politics aren't real! <laughs> people get so caught up. <laughs> oh, God, the... Oh, he's done. It's all a fucking game, dude. You know what's real? Is that the military is a club and they freaking use their resources and they go all over the world and they see all kinds of sights and they get to play with these big fancy toys. 
and people like me who haven't had a shower since June get to, um, because, you know, all that shit trickles down. Shit rolls downhill, and the federal government is the biggest shit pile there is. And, you know, for, for the rest of you guys that you aren't getting a paycheck right, oh, that's so sad. Now you, now you know what the rest of us feel like. Maybe you guys should, um, I don't know, maybe create some creative ways to keep this from happening. I don't know. All these people just go around doing what they're told. They're just little puppets. When are, where's the change going to start? Where are the people that, from within that are going to stand up and say, no, this is wrong. That's who I was. That's who I tried to be. And they wouldn't let me in because they don't want to hear what I have to say. They don't want to see that, you know, the freaking city of Salem wants to spend $80 million on a police facility. I bet there's going to be a lot of oak and a lot of red cherry finished furniture in that place. Yeah. Yeah. But don't let the people live in tents across the street. Get them out because nobody wants to see that shit. Things are changing. We're changing. It's evolution. If you're a human being and you're not a freaking little petri dish science, science project, you'll be evolving that you want the world to be better for other people and you. But if you want it all for yourself... I hope to not see you in the next carnation. I hope you have a rad day. Peace.